Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Burr, and uh, I'm just checking in on you. Just checking in on you on a Thursday. Cleo, get over there and lay the fuck down. You're driving me nuts today. You're a maniac. I still love you. That's only because you're cute. If you're an ugly dog like a poo. No, get over there and lay down. 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 Lay the fuck down. The master has spoken. Um, <laughs> what's going on? How are you? How are you? Welcome to another Thursday afternoon just before Friday, Monday afternoon fucking morning podcast, whatever I call it. They're just checking in on your podcast for short. You know? Um, oh, what a couple of days it's been. Oh, what a couple of nights, Babu. Jesus Christ. Unfucking believable. All right? I already had myself a, 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 a hell of a goddamn day, right? I finally got my goddamn truck back, right? Brand new engine. Everything was going great. And then, uh, you know, I looked cool for about six hours. Six fucking hours. And then uh, there was something going on with the clutch. I don't know what was going on. These guys I take it to do fucking phenomenal work. They do some some of the sickest fucking hot rod trucks I've ever seen in my life. And I think what fucked me over is one of the parts. You know, they make them in China now, you know, because they don't want to play Americans, because they don't want to fuck with the unions. And then it's not enough that they're going to underpay some poor Chinese guy over there. Because people always go, oh, the Chinese, they don't fucking make them right. They'd make them right if you gave them the right fucking materials. What's that Chinese guy supposed to do? Fucking, uh, you know, fucking, I don't know, pull a goddamn clutch out of his, out of his stomach. Like a chicken having a cesarean section. Um, <laughs> whatever the fuck materials they give them, that's what they're going to put together. So, anyways, he's trying to say maybe it's, maybe it's that thing. So, I'm back to driving some fucking car shaped like a goddamn dinner roll. So, I, that, I got that going on, right? Um, I went down, took a helicopter, you know, fucking thing here. I'm getting ready to do my check ride. Flew great. Everything was going good. My autos were great. Nose was dipping down a little bit. But, you know, I recovered. And then uh, all of a sudden my clutch was acting up. So I'm like, ah, fuck, right? So old Freckles needs a haircut. Who's getting new? All you do is just buzz my head. It takes two fucking seconds. So I'm driving up. I usually have this lady do it, but she's off today. So I said, you know, I need it. I'm taking my wife out. Fuck it, man. I'm just going to get my head buzzed, right? So I go by. There's a barber shop. Little candy stripe fucking sign thing going. So I pull over. I walk in. There's one dude sitting there. There's no barbers, right? I'm looking around. They got they got fucking, uh, they're selling combs, right? They got all these fucking vintage hot rod magazines. They're playing music from the 1950s. All of this should have been a warning. But it wasn't. I was just like, oh, all right, that's kind of cool, whatever. Then this fucking guy comes walking out wearing this smock indicating that he was a barber, and I'm immediately thinking, all right, this guy next to me, he's first, right? And the guy goes, he walks out, sees me, he goes, oh, hey, how are you, sir? I said, I'm doing good. How you doing? He goes, great. He goes, uh, do you have an appointment? I, I'm like, do I have an appointment? What do you mean an appointment? He goes, you got to make an appointment here. I'm like, dude, this is a barber shop. <laughs> I think I said, what is this, a hair salon? And he's going over to the book looking at it. And he goes, oh, you know, I can get you. I go, too, I just want to get my head buzzed. Take like five minutes. There's nobody fucking here. You could be have this thing halfway done, you jerk off, right? Inside, I was thinking that, right? And then he's fucking looking at his logbook. I just said, forget it. Forget it. I'm out of here. Fucking assholes. Done with that place for life. Goddamn fucking hipsters, man. They've ruined everything. You know what I realized? That wasn't a barbershop. That was an ironic barbershop. That's why they had the old magazines. That's why they had Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons playing. And rather than some old guy come walking out, this, this fucking 30-year-old guy walks out. And he can't cut my fucking hair. And this is what's funny. I fucking drive away in my truck with the fucked up clutch. Now, now, now I'm really losing my shit because I get in and I'm trying to push the clutch and it won't go all the way to the floor. So I've got to push it a little harder and it has some ungodly sound in my transmission. So immediately I'm like, all right, I'm not, I'm, I got to take this back to the place because when I'm driving it, it's fine. But when I would stop for whatever reason, it wouldn't go all the way to the floor. So by all means, all you fucking weekend warrior gearheads, please tell me. What it is. Oh, I know what it is. I know exactly what it is. Your flywheels don't kick over the crankshaft. Shut up. Sorry. So anyways, so I go to fucking drive away. And uh, who's standing out in front of the fucking barbershop on his iPhone? Oh, fucking the barbershop guy. Checking his tweets or some shit. Ugh. 
Then, oh, my God, I just fucking drove away just like beside myself, just going like, what these fucking goddamn hipsters? They fucking ruined. They haven't ruined anything. It's just they're so fucking in this. Why can't you just be yourself? You know? Why does everything have to be like mocking? So why, why can't you just like, I swear, you know what it is? Because if you took off their facial hair and their glasses and their Robert Fulton fucking goddamn outfit, you know, what would you be left with? They'd have to be themselves. And you know what? They're not fucking interesting. Jesus fucking Christ. Really, Bill? Do you have to go this big? Yes, I do. It's a barbershop, okay? You fucking walk into a barbershop. You sit down. There's a bunch of old guys there with their balls going down to the floor wearing smelly fucking old awful slacks with horrific shoes. And all you start thinking is, wow, I guess that Social Security really isn't going to be there for me. That's what you think when you go into a barbershop. Fucking dickheads. They should have to take that fucking sign down. Or at least put it in quotes, barbershop, right? Is this a dumb thing to be mad at? Well, fuck you. I don't care. This is this, you know, I didn't want to be this mad coming on the fucking podcast. I'm getting over a goddamn summer cold. What's the world coming to, man? You can't walk into a barbershop to get your fucking head buzzed. There's nobody there, and there's one guy standing there, and he asks you if you have a fucking appointment. It's like, is this a Maserati dealership? What, what the fuck are we doing here, right? Just have me sit down, put the fucking apron around my neck, and just at what do you usually do? I usually go down to the skin, then a half, and then one and a half on top. And what there you go, bing bang boom. Yeah, 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 I'm done. Here's your twenty bucks. God bless you, right? Do I have an appointment? And he walks over and he looks at the fucking book. Jesus, there should have been somebody getting their nails done over in the corner. How the fuck can you call yourself a barbershop when you take appointments? You never have appointments. You just show up, right? I went to a barbershop when I when I was fucking back in uh, back in Massachusetts. I went to the Hal's, right? Just fucking walked in, sat down. Some fucking old guy. How you doing? Yeah, fucking sat down. Gave me the same haircut he gives to the fucking state troopers. In and out. I did it on the way to the gym. One of the great things, one of the few great things about having a shaved head as far as you'll never get lice again is it takes you two seconds, right? You just go in, they zim, zam, zoom. You don't give a fuck who does it. Done, over, and then you fucking leave. Another great thing is whenever you're going out, you know, you can just throw a shirt on. No one knows you didn't take a shower because you know, you'll never have bed head again. So I guess there's two positive things. But you know what? One of those positive things was taking away from me today. And I'm really sad about it, you guys. I'm back in fucking uh, L.A. I got to tell you something. You know what needs to stop? Has anybody flown Virgin lately? And, dude, they made like a fucking 22-minute music video about putting your seatbelt on. There's a part where they start, they're singing, and then there's rapping, and then there's a robot part, and then the robot goes, this robot rap is over, and you're thinking, oh, God, thank God it's over. And then they just go, I'm ready to go. Is that a da-da? Put your fucking seatbelt on, right? And there's all that Christina Aguilera over singing, doing all of that fucking shit, pointing at notes. It's, it's so fucking loud. You know, those, those fucking douches who have those Bose headphones. I just never could fucking buy one of those things. That's the first time I was like, I really need to get a pair of those. I need a pair of earplugs. And well, I actually sit, I fucking put my elbows on my knees and I jam my fingers <laughs> into my ears. And I hum for five minutes waiting for it to stop. Um, yeah, I don't know. You know what kills me is I was sitting next to my wife and she loved it. She thought it was great. And I was like, there you go. Right there, there's the balance, the balance of this relationship. I fucking hate everything, you know? Like me, if she went down there, she'd be like, oh, it's cool. It's like a barbershop 2.0. I will make an appointment. What is your name? Well, it's very nice to meet you. What do I do? I fucking storm out, go, what is this, a fucking hair salon? And I storm out, right? And in the end, I still need a haircut. So who won, Bill? Who won? You lost your temper again. Who won and who lost? You think that fucko down the street gives a shit? This guy's making, he's taking reservations down there like he's got a fucking, 
a pork chop to die for, right? Like you're some fucking unbelievable restaurant. Ah, fuck it. You want to have a hipster barbershop where you got to make appointments? Wasn't I really just mad because they wouldn't do what I wanted them to do? I still did this. You should have a different colored barbershop sign then with that little fucking red, white, and blue stripe thing going up. It should be something different, something hipstery. Little mustaches in there. You cunts. Do you know I went to a barbershop and I couldn't, well, if you didn't hear me screaming about it, to get my head buzzed. I definitely heard you screaming. And the guy said, I I didn't have a fucking appointment. he, He goes, you have an appointment? It's a barbershop. You don't need a fucking appointment. Yeah, but you know, some of these highfalutin places, they, you know, they work on appointment. It's not like, you know. Then you're not a barbershop. You're a, you're a hair salon. Right. Yeah. Exactly. You're a salon that does for hair. hair. Yeah. Did you go into an actual barbershop, though? Was it just one of these, like. It was regular- a fucking barbershop that gave the little swirly sign and it said barbershop. Oh, yeah. So she, you should be able to walk in there and be like, let me get a haircut. And they'd be like, yeah, have a seat. Grab a paper. Nice. Justified on one. 